టు జాన్స్ గాస్పుల్ చాప్టర్ ఎలెవెన్ యోహాన్ శువార్త పదకొండో అధ్యాయం మొదటి ఇరవై ఎనిమిది వచనాలు ఈ దినాన్ని మనం ధ్యానం చేసుకోబోతున్నాం దేవుని కృపశాత యోహాన్ శువార్త ఒకటో పదకొండో అధ్యాయం ఒకటి నుండి ఇరవై ఎనిమిది వచనాలు ఈ యొక్క వాక్యపరిచర్య ఎందుకు మనం ధ్యానం చేసుకుందాం జాన్స్ గాస్పుల్ చాప్టర్ ఎలెవెన్ వర్స్ వన్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ ఎయిట్ ఐమ్ షాల్ బి ఆల్ రీడ్ ఇట్ రెస్పాన్సిబ్లీ ఉత్తర పచ్చత్ర రీతులుగా మనం చదువుకున్న యొక్క వాక్య భాగాన్ని జాన్స్ గాస్పాల్ చాప్టర్ ఎలెవెన్ వర్సెస్ వన్ టు ట్వంటీ ఎయిట్ సర్టన్ మ్యాన్ వాజ్ ఇల్ లాజ్ రెస్ ఆఫ్ బెథనీ ద విలేజ్ ఆఫ్ మేరీ అండ్ హెర్ సిస్టర్ మార్థ It was Mary who anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was ill. So the sisters sent to him, saying, Lord, he whom you love is ill. But when Jesus heard it, he said, This illness does not lead to death. It is for the glory of God, so that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that Lazarus was ill, he stayed two days longer in the place where he was. Verse 7. Then after this, he said to the disciples, Let us go to Judea again. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, the Jews are just now seeking to stone you, and are you going there again? Verse 9. Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours in the day? If anyone walks in the day, he does not stumble because he sees the light of this world. But if anyone walks in the night, he stumbles because the light is not in him. After saying these things, he said to them, Our friend Lazarus have fallen, has fallen asleep, but I go to awaken him. The disciples said to him, Lord, if he has fallen asleep, he will recover. Now Jesus has spoken of his death, but they thought that he meant taking rest in sleep. And then Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus has died. And for your sake, I am glad that I was not there, so that you may believe. But let us go to him. So Thomas called the twin and said to his fellow disciple, Let us also go that we may die with him. Verse 17. Now when Jesus came, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb four days. Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two, about two miles off, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them concerning their brother. So when Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him. But Mary remained seated in the house. Verse 21, Martha said to Jesus, Lord, If you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask from God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? Verse 27, she said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who is coming into the world. Verse 28 altogether. When she had said this, she went and called her sister Mary, saying in private, the teacher is here and is calling for you. Dear ones, the New Year sermon begins with a death. <laughs> and uh, this is quite a passage for us that is read. <clears throat> Jesus, the resurrection and the life. In the entire chapter is about the death of Lazarus and uh, how God raised Lazarus from the dead and uh, how the Jews were plotting to kill Jesus because of what he did. Therefore, um, we have two weeks to dwell on uh, this 11th chapter because it's a long chapter, uh, nearly 50 plus verses in it, so it's not possible for um, covering all of that in one 
hour so i divided this into two parts so the first part is the resurrection and the life jesus the resurrection and the life part one and covering one to 28 verses the lord wills it's a it's a long task but still uh, we shall see how it goes dear ones before we go ahead to dwell in this passage we must remember the context of this passage that we read prastuta sandarbho ee oka vakya bhagam e vidhanga unnadi annatundi sangati manam chudali kabatti oka rendu nimishalu manam gyapakam chesukovali the context of this passage is that just a few uh, days before jesus declared himself as god how do we know that in john's gospel chapter 10 verse 30 one chapter before yohann suvarth 13 lo manu chusinatlaithe akkada i and the father are one and je pesi yesu christu prabhu var saval vese he challenged the people listening to him that he and the father were one in john's gospel chapter nenu tanri ekamai unnanani meeto nischa unnanani varito cheppenu anatundi maatan batti manu em anukochu ante yesu christu prabhu var thana thana santana దేవుడు నీ అని చెప్పుకున్నట్లుగా ఆ సవాల్ని బట్టి అనుకుంటూ ఉన్నాం అండ్ ఆల్సో హీ క్వీటెడ్ హిమ్ సెల్ఫ్ విత్ గాడ్ అండ్ దట్ ఇస్ అ టెస్ట్ మనీ ఆఫ్ ద పీపుల్ హూ హర్డ్ జీసస్ క్రైస్ట్ స్పీకింగ్ ఇన్ జాన్స్ కాస్ టెన్ వర్స్ థర్టీ టూ అండ్ థర్టీ త్రీ యేసు తండ్రి యోధ నుండి అనేకమైన మంచి సూచక్రియలు మీకు చూపి చూపితేనే వాటిలో ఏ క్రియ నిమిత్తము నన్ను రాళ్లతో కొట్టుతున్నారని వారిని అడిగినందుకు యూదులు నీవు మనుషుడు అయి ఉండి దేవుడునని చెప్పుకుని చున్నావు గనుక because you are testifying yourself that you are god equal to god memo andre metamo because but for the blasphemy and because that thou being a man makes thyself god anna 20 sakshan batti ninnu himse ninnu champutunamo ani varu sakshan chepparu inni konni verses mundu manam chusinatle so that's the context that's the uh, situation and then uh, we are arriving into this chapter jesus left to that place where he was ministering in judea and he left to a place where john um, you know, we see that in verse 40 he went away uh, in 10th ten, chapter verse 40 he went away again across jordan to the place where john had been baptizing at first and there he remained and many came to him and they said john did no sign but everything so these are the passages that we dwelt last week so this is where jesus was when he was ministering just before chapter 11 so once we come to chapter 11 he already moved from judea and he was uh, closing um, uh, and he was in a place in jordan uh, where john was baptizing so that's a quite a distance from uh, um, judean uh, area but anyways um, the context of this passage also talks about the hostility of the jews akkada unnatundi yudhulesu christ prabhu varini champalanu chustunnaru e situation no e samayamandu yesu christ prabhu varu dorukutara ayina champudama ani kanipedutu unnatluga manam gamanisthunnam ade matalu john's gospel chapter 11 verse 45 to 57 also talks about how they are waiting uh, for an opportunity to kill him in verse 43 manam chusinatlayite kaaga aa denam nundi varu ayinanu champana alochinchuchundiri they were waiting to kill jesus and also in 57 pradhana yajakala parisayila ani ekkada unnadi ekkada evanikainano telisina edala taamu ayanu pattukona galugutaku tamaku teliyeyavalani aagyapinchundiri that's how uh, jews were waiting for an opportunity to capsize jesus and to uh, and to uh, uh, lay an accusation on him for uh, blasphemy and to kill him that is how the situation is and in that situation dear ones chapter 11 begins um uh, w- w- with a with a, a call from a family and the purpose of this particular passage that we read if you uh, have gone through the reading of this passage mukhya uddesham emiti anante yesu nene punadhanamu jeevamunai unnanu anatundi sakshyamu ee oka chadukonatundi vakyamlo ప్రాముఖ్యమైనటువంటి మాటలుగా మనం గ్రహిస్తూ ఉన్నాం ద పర్పస్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ప్యాసేజ్ దట్ వీ రెడ్ ఈజ్ అబౌట్ క్రైస్ట్ ద రిజరక్షన్ అండ్ ద లైఫ్ అని మనము చూస్తూ ఉన్నాం వీ డ్వెల్ ఇన్ దిస్ ప్యాసేజ్ ద రైజింగ్ ఆఫ్ లాజరస్ ఈస్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద లాస్ట్ మెరకల్ జీసస్ డిడ్ బిఫోర్ హీ వెంట్ టు ద క్రాస్ ఇన్ దిస్ పర్టికులర్ గాస్పల్ అకార్డింగ్ టు జాన్ జాన్ రైట్స్ అబౌట్ peter um, 
uh, stopping of the year of Malchus, uh, several passages later, uh, where it doesn't talk about how Jesus healed them, uh, healed Malchus. Therefore, um, this miracle that Jesus performed is seventh of all uh, in, in the Gospel of John, uh, but it's also a climactic uh, messianic sign uh, that the Lord um, performed as he rose or um, he, he brought uh, Lazarus to life. Um, in verses 25, uh, we see how uh, Jesus um, um, arises, uh, Lazarus and all of that. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, in later, later to 25. Um, in, in 25, he says that I am the resurrection and I am the life. So this is the purpose for which um, this passage is uh, written for us so that you and I can understand um, that Jesus contains um, eternal life for you and for me. Nitya Jeevam Unna 20 Prabhulu Varu Ani Manamu Grahistu Unna. Nisanga Manamu Gamanichi Natlaite Premenu Varlara Purudhanamu Ani 20 Matam Edu Manamu Gatinchi Na Murnalu Varalaga Manamu Jaram Jaisthu Unna Bala Sami Mandu. Aithe ఈ పునర్ధానం అనేది లేకపోతే జీవించే మరణించినటువంటి వాడు తిరిగి జీవనం రావడం అనేది కొన్ని మార్లు మనకి దేవుని యొక్క వాక్యంలో కనబడుతుంది ఇట్స్ ఆల్సో సీన్ ఇన్ ఓల్డ్ టెస్టమెంట్ ఇన్ ఓల్డ్ టెస్టమెంట్ ఇన్ ఫస్ట్ కింగ్స్ చాప్టర్ సెవెంటీన్ సెవెంటీన్ టు ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ వి సీ దట్ ఎలాయిజా రైజస్ ద విడో సన్ అక్కడ విధవరాలు యొక్క కుమారుణ్ణి ఏలియా మరి చనిపోయిన వాడిని బతికించినట్లుగా అక్కడ మాటలు మనకు తెలియజేస్తూ ఉంటాయి ఇంకా మనం చూసినట్లయితే రెండవ రాజుల గ్రంథం నాలుగో అధ్యాయం ముప్పై రెండు నుంచి ముప్పై ఏడు వరకు మనం గమనించినట్లయితే సెకండ్ కింగ్స్ చాప్టర్ ఫోర్ వర్సెస్ థర్టీ టు థర్టీ సెవెన్ వి సీ దట్ ఎలాయిషా రైజస్ ద షునమైట్ సన్ అక్కడ ఉన్నటువంటి షునై మీరాల్ యొక్క కుమారుని కూడా మరి ఎలాయిజా మరి జీవం జీవం ఇచ్చినట్లుగా అక్కడ మనకి ఎలాయిషా ఎలీషా జీవం ఇచ్చినట్లుగా మనము అక్కడ చూడగలము అదేవిధంగా ఆయన మరి ఎముకలను తాకగానే మరణించిన వాడు ఒకడు జీవనానికి వచ్చినట్లుగా యాజ్ ది టచ్ ద బౌన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇలాయిషా ఎ మ్యాన్ కమ్స్ టు లైఫ్ అండ్ దట్ ద స్క్రిప్చర్ పోర్షన్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో ఫౌండ్ ఇన్ థర్టీన్ చాప్టర్ వర్స్ ట్వంటీ వన్ ఆన్ వర్డ్స్ అండ్ సో ఆన్ సో రిజరక్షన్ ప్యాసేజెస్ ఆర్ ఫౌండ్ ఇన్ ద బైబుల్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ న్యూ థింగ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ అ న్యూ డాక్టర్ ఇన్ టు జ్యూస్ um they believe in resurrection in fact uh the reason why jesus one of the reasons why jesus waited for um two days or um why he rose lazarus on the fourth day uh, in fact one of the beliefs of jews is that uh, within three days the soul might come back uh, in search of the body and uh, the dead man can live within the three days so they normally take three days to weep for um the dead man or woman um and spend another 27 days mourning for the dead so that's been a ritual so <clears throat> there is um uh, this ritual of uh, the dead coming to life um and uh, there is this belief of dead coming to life therefore it is not a new doctrine to the people or to the jews or to the people of israel it's also found in gospels అదే విధంగా స్వార్తల్లో కూడా మనం అనేక మార్లు చూస్తూ ఉంటాం యేసు క్రీస్తు ప్రభుల వారు చనిపోయిన వారిని లేపినటువంటి సంగతులు మనము చూస్తాం యాయురు కుమార్తెను మార్కు స్వార్త ఐదవ అధ్యాయము ఇరవై రెండు నుంచి ఇరవై నాలుగు వరకు మనం చూసినట్లయితే జీసస్ రోస్ ద డాటర్ ఆఫ్ జాయరస్ వెన్ షీ వాజ్ డెడ్ um he went there and um he gave life to Zairus daughter in Mark's gospel chapter 5 verse 22 onwards and also rose uh, the uh, son of the widow uh, at 9 uh, verses uh, found in Luke's gospel chapter 11 verses chapter 7 verses 11 to 15 so resurrection passages are there in the bible in the old testament and also in the new testament so therefore it is not a new doctrine to people అది ఒక నూతనమైన తత్వము కాదు ఎందుకు అని అంటే పునరుద్ధానం అనేది పాత నిబంధన గ్రంథంలోను అదేవిధంగా నూతన నిబంధన గ్రంథంలో కూడా మనకి కనబడుతూనే ఉంటాయి కాబట్టి ఈ ఉపోద్ఘాతంతో ఈ యొక్క చదువుకున్నటువంటి వాక్య భాగ్యం యొక్క చుట్టుగీత ఏ విధంగా ఉన్నది అని మనం గ్రహిద్దాం లెట్స్ లుక్ ఎట్ ది అవుట్ లైన్ ఆఫ్ వాట్ వీ హ్యావ్ రెడ్ సో ఫార్ సో ద ఫస్ట్ సిక్స్టీన్ వర్సెస్ టాక్స్ అబౌట్ ద పర్పస్ ఆఫ్ లాజరస్ డెత్ ద డెత్ ఆఫ్ లాజరస్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ పర్పస్ అండ్ ద నెక్స్ట్ for uh, 17 to 27 nearly 10 to 11 verses 
talk about a dialogue between Jesus and Martha. And the next uh, 10 verses talk about a dialogue between Jesus and Mary. And verses 38 to 45, Jesus performs the miracle. When he rose, and he rises Lazarus from the dead. And verses 46 to 57 talks about how uh, the people who saw the miracle, uh, the Pharisees uh, and uh, the people, the Jews and all, um, they plot um, uh, uh, a method to kill Jesus. Even the Yoko Baki Baki Waka Chutu Gitaman and Converton, Mother T. Padhar Vachinalo, Lazarus Maranam Yoka, Pramukim and Suchal Converte, than Tarvata Martha to Sambashana, than Tarvata Maria to Sambashana, than Tarvata Yesu Christ Provolvaru, Lazarus Nimur Lapatom, than Tarvata Yesu Christ Provor Nichampan Desh in Chenet twenty Varioka. We don't have time to dwell on all of these, but we will dwell on the first two, um, God willing, in this, in this hour that we are dealing with. So therefore, as we see, the first few verses, it begins with, Now a certain man was ill, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary, and her sister Martha. It was Mary who anointed the Lord with anointment, ointment, and wiped his feet and her hair, where whose brother Lazarus was ill. Verse 3, therefore his sisters sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. We must recall, dear ones, that uh, this family, Luka Suvarta, Padavadhyayamu, Moppa Yenamidhi, Moppa Yutthumidhi, Nalabai, Nalabai Rendu, Vachinalu, Manakki, Matta Madar Sarakai, Kuttumbong Anabarthar. How this family came into contact with Jesus is recorded in Luke's Gospel, Chapter 10, Verse 38. Akkaun nincu manam jooch in atle ite, akkada, unna tvandu vaakki vayi evutte anante, Anthata varu prayanamai pavuchu undaga, ayana yoka gramamu lo pravesh inchanu, Martha Anuakastri Ainanu Tana Inta Chirchukonano. It was Martha who received Jesus Christ and his disciples as they were passing by through the city. And when Martha received Jesus Christ into her home, she was very busy with all the arrangements that she wants to uh, give to Jesus Christ so that their journey is comfortable and they had a good meal and all of that. As you look into those pass, uh, verses in those passage uh, from 38 Luke's Gospel chapter 10 verse 38 to 42, we see that Martha received Jesus Christ into her home. Aina Amiku Maria Anu Sahodradu Sahodri Undenu, Ime Yesu Padamul Yodha Kurchundi, Aina Bodhana Vinichundenu. Martha Vistara Maina Panibetukuna de Chata Tondra Padi. Chala Panibetukunde Martha. Yendu Panibetukunde Anate Yesu Krishu Prabhuarni Intilon Kahwan in Chinadi Martha Martha Ahwan in Chindarvata. She was making sure that there was um, uh, comfort in the home as Jesus and his disciples were passing by through that city. And then we know that how Jesus um, exhorts both Martha and Mary uh, and encourages uh, Martha and also exhorts uh, Mary for choosing the right thing when she uh, decided to spend the time at the feet of Jesus listening to the words of Jesus. So that's the backdrop. That's the introduction of the family. That's how the family comes into contact with Jesus. And several days pass and several months. We do not know how many days and time, uh, days and months have passed. But this is the next thing that happens um, when Martha and Mary uh, calls on Jesus. So, that's the same family. So we do not know um, how Jesus grew uh, in his friendship with Martha, Mary and Lazarus. We do not know how Martha, Mary and Lazarus contacted Jesus and how they were in touch with each other. But one thing we know that when this thing happened in their home, immediately they called on Jesus. So dear ones, these passages bring before us three people, Martha, Mary and Lazarus. Martha was always, there are three times mentioned uh, in the scriptures. In the next chapter also we will look at 
uh, Martha. Uh, in this chapter, we are looking at Martha. In Luke's gospel, we should look at Martha. In all the occasions, we see Martha was always busy feeding Jesus, making sure that Jesus is comfortable, making sure that there are arrangements made for a comfortable stay um, for Jesus. But then Jesus, as he was passing through, decides to visit this family. That's a loving visit, dear ones. The Bible says in John's gospel, chapter 14, verse 23, that Jesus answered and said unto him, if a man love me, if a man love me, just like Martha loved Jesus, just like Mary loved Jesus, just like Lazarus loved Jesus, Jesus answered unto him saying, if a man love me, he will keep my words and my father will love him and we will come unto him and make our whole abode with him. ఒక నేను ప్రేమించిన ఎడ్లో ఉన్న మాట కైకు నువ్వు అప్పుడు నా తండ్రి వాణిని ప్రేమించును మేము వాణి యొద్దకు వచ్చి వాణి యొద్ద నివాసము చేతము దట్స్ ద ప్రామిస్ అండ్ ద నేచర్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ టు హోమ్ హిస్ లవ్ ఈజ్ అండ్ ఎలిజెన్స్ ఈజ్ అండ్ దోస్ హూ లవ్ హిమ్ ఇన్ రిటర్న్ డియర్ వన్స్ ద ఫాదర్ అండ్ ద లార్డ్ జీసస్ క్రైస్ట్ అబాయిడ్ విత్ దెమ్ డియర్ వన్స్ వాట్ అ బ్యూటిఫుల్ లెసన్ దట్ వీ కెన్ లర్న్ ఇఫ్ యూ లవ్ జీసస్ if you and your family love jesus jesus and the father will be in the family dear ones and that's a blessing and that's a blessing as we see here in fact christ visits with love and he often visits with uh, uh, with this blessing of his presence dear ones therefore this is a family loved by god and this is a family who loves jesus and uh his ministry dear ones nevertheless it doesn't promise that everything is very good and and very uh, easy life in fact jesus visits the family with love but also his friendship doesn't mean that the family has no problems he always we are always encouraged to um uh, to uh, through the scriptures that christianity or faith in christ is not an easy life as we see in this family we also see a problem in this family in this particular chapter the bible says in revelation chapter 3 verse 19 as many as i love i rebuke and chasten be jealous therefore and repent whoever god loves and whoever is loved by god is also chastened is also disciplined by god therefore it is not a path Uh, that is easy for a believer in christ he must go through trials and and he must go through tough times adhe vidhanga evaraithe ayina premisthu unnaro variki kuda itvanti samasyalu gunda velutu unnaru avanniti dwara varandaru kuda prabhu ni mahima parustu unnatluga manamu chustu unnam premena tvanti varla therefore as we see jesus has a wonderful relationship with his family jesus is in friendship with this family and they are friends to jesus in fact the bible says that jesus calls us no more servants but he calls us friends in john's gospel chapter 15 verse 15 henceforth i call you not servants for the servant knoweth not what what his lord doeth but i call have called you friends dasudu thani yajamarudu cheya dani ni erugadu ganaka ika mimmunu dasulu manu peluka snehithulu mani peluchuchunnanu endukanaga nenu na tandri valana vinade sangathalanni meeku teliyesithini ani yesu christu prabhu varu cheptu unnaru priyamen varlara there is a, a this section of people who are trying to kill jesus yesu christ prabhu ni champalani chustunnatundi oka samoham anadi varu raalles kottalani chustunnaru varu yesu christ prabhu ani parishilistu unnaru kontha mandi ayana ni shramalaku guru chestu unnaru kontha mandi ni ayana ni kshunnanga parishilistu parishistu unnaru itvanti bhayankaramaina atundi situation lo oka kutumbam ayana preminchindi one family fell in love with christ and christ fell in love with this family and that is one family is an example for you and for me because that is a family he calls them as friends he calls them as friends dear ones who are we turning to as is jesus your friend and my friend is jesus your friend to your family and to my family a simple question for you and for me a story is told about a man and um, this was written by mr uh wm taylor and he says that he was traveling in a train 
And as he was traveling in a train, um, uh, he actually went into the train or he took the train at a certain station. Uh, station was a train lock welded and taina. Train lock well in the Ravata than a seat akuruna do chusukuni, a seat there guchunu unadanta, a suit to Pakuna Tavanavarandrukuda. They were very happy, they were joyful, they were uh, bubbling. And the reason for that bubbling is that there is this, this wonderful child who is uh, laughing, giggling, and, and uh, making everybody happy around the place uh, where he was sitting. To whomever he goes, he smiles and he giggles and he makes people laugh. And as he was sitting there and he was enjoying, he couldn't figure out who the mother of that child was or is. Because to whomever he goes, he was laughing, he was giggling and he was happy and he was comfortable. Then there was a time when the train was traveling. A train velta 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 unte. Oka tunnel uchin danta, tunnel gelin daravata, train gatti ga sound jeshin danta. Poothakus in the train, like the horn got it. A horn ki bank karmane dwani sound uchin danta. Chutpakal anta chikati, anta karam lo unna danta. That's when the child went to his mother. And then everybody would, and this man realized, oh, that is the mother. Dear ones, we all look very good on Sunday morning. But when problem comes, is Jesus your friend and mine? That will prove where our anchor is for our lives. That's how the child, when it is troubled time, when it was all dark, when the fear comes, rush to the mother is what the child did. That's his address. Question is, where is yours and mine? So that is where we find this family. This family in the midst of all the chaotic scenes that are, that are going in his family, we see that this message is coming to Jesus. How beautiful it is to have sisters who pray. Martha and Mary sent a prayer to Jesus Christ. What a wonderful ministry these sisters hold, dear ones. These are praying hands. These are people who love the Lord. And on behalf of their brother, sisters are interceding. That calls us to your calling as sisters, dear ones, for intercession for your brothers and for your church. And that's a great ministry given to you as well. And then, as we see in this passage, you know, a certain man was ill, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. This village is recognized by Mary and Martha. Do you realize that? This city was recognized by Mary and Martha. Just like in John's Gospel, chapter 1, we see that the city of Bethsaida was marked by Andrew. You know. So they are known for their faith. They are known for their reception of Jesus Christ. And then as they invited Jesus Christ, they became so famous and so known for their faith and receiving of Jesus Christ. The city was named the village of Mary and her sister Martha. What a great testimony that these ladies or sisters have, dear ones. And then as we see in verse 3, the, so, so, so Lazarus was ill. And as he was ill, so the sister sent uh, to him saying, Lord, he whom you love is ill. What a wonderful prayer that they made to Christ. They did not request anything. E there is no request in this prayer. Read with me what she prays is. So the sister sent to him saying, Lord, he whom you love is ill. That's it. It's an information. You do whatever you want. But he is ill. So all a friend needs to know is 
what's the situation right a father does not need to know what to do he only needs to know that his son fell down right or his daughter fell down right nobody has to tell what i should do if my daughter fell all i need to know is that she fell i know what to do right that is how much they loved jesus no request made only made known and dear ones this sisters what a privilege the lazarus had they had praying hands and he also had a sisters who had faith as this what a great encouragement that we see in this so they are saying not only that not only they sent no request to jesus but they also testified that the love of lazarus is not compared worthy more than what the love of jesus for lazarus is they said lord the one whom you love right as you see in this verse when uh, it was three it was three so the sister sent to him say lord he whom you love is ill comparative to what jesus love is on us our love to him is in no way close therefore we cannot claim anything dear ones because the love of god compasses and surpasses every other love so marvelous truths as we look into um, this wonderful passage dear ones neevu preminchina we don't know what lazarus did for christ that made christ love him we know what martha did kada martha em chestundo telusu maria em chestundo telusu gaani lazarus em chesadu teledu gaani yesu christu prabhu varu lazarus ni preminchara he talks a lot about lazarus though nothing is written about him right he is a silent uh, ministry for the lord jesus we do not know what but he was not given any uh, given any description about what he did but later in verse chapter 12 the name of the city is actually reversed he says where lazarus lived that's how transformations happens but anyway coming back to this passage in verse 3 they sent a simple statement they sent some information to jesus but when jesus learned but when jesus heard it he said this illness does not lead to the death uh death it is for the glory of god so that the son of god may be glorified through it therefore the first purpose of lazarus death in this passage dear ones we see is that when jesus heard this, this is for the glory of god glory of god some problem some trial some temptation some challenge that which is abnormal that which we do not like that which we do not think about or plan or wish that could happen to us will happen to us but it will happen for the glory of god only for the children of god so therefore being a friend of jesus yesu christ prabhu varato sahavasam chesi ayanato vishwasa yatralano nadustunnatundi prati okkarki kuda kalige samasyalu avanni kuda prabhu mahimarthamai untu unnai ani yokka vakya bhaganni batti manam telusukuntu unnam they all come but for the glory of the son of god in our lives and through our lives for the glory of god remember john's gospel chapter 9 tomdo adhyayam manam jnanam chesam kada akkada kuda oka guddu vaadu unnadu puttu guddu vaadu unnadu aa vakyanni jnanam chesukunnam sishyalu adugutha unnaru vidu enduku guddu vaadu vidi paapam chesada lakapothe vidu oka talli dandulu paapam chesara ante yesu christ prabhu ara emannaru evaru kuda paapam cheyaledu gani devuni yokka mahima devuni yokka karyalu chadukunna maatlu yohanna suvartha okata tomdo adhyayam okata rendu moodu chadunatla maarkamana povuchundaga puttu guddu vaadu okadu manushyudu guddu vaadu aina oka manushyudu kanabadenu aina sishyalu bodakada వీడు గుడ్డువాడే పుట్టుటకు ఎవడు పాపం చేశాను వీడ వీడిని కనిన వారా అని ఆయన అడుగుగా యేసు వీడైన నువ్వు వీడు కనివ్వాలని నేను పాపం చేయలేదు కాని దేవుని క్రియలు విని అందు ప్రత్యక్ష పడుటకే వీడు గుడ్డువాడిగా పుట్టాను ప్రేమైన వారులరా వాట్ ఎవర్ హ్యాపన్స్ ఇన్ ద లైఫ్ ఆఫ్ పీపుల్ హూ బిలీవ్స్ ఇన్ జీసస్ క్రైస్ట్ మై డియర్ మై డియర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ డస్ హ్యాపన్ ఓన్లీ ఫర్ ద గ్లోరీ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ మనకు జరిగే సమస్తమును కూడా దేవుని యొక్క మహిమార్థమే జరుగుతూ ఉంటాయి అని వాక్యం ద్వారా మనము నేర్చుకుంటూ ఉన్నాం దిస్ సిక్నెస్ ఈస్ నాట్ అన్ టు డెత్ 
this did not come into the life of Lazarus and the family just because death must happen into uh, death must happen to Lazarus. But it is not the final effect, but it has come for the glory of God. He was just sleeping so that Jesus can wake him up. The same words are used in Mark's Gospel, chapter 5, verse 39, when Jesus raised Jairus' daughter from the dead. When Jesus is bringing back to life, he calls it sleep. They're only sleeping. But Jesus brings them to life in Mark's Gospel, chapter 5, verse 39. And when he came in, he said unto them, Why make ye this ado and weep? The damsel is not dead, but sleepeth. If you belong to Christ, dear ones, even if the worst thing worse comes into our lives, they won't usher us into second death, which is eternal death. But they can only usher us to a place where Jesus Christ is. But only for the children of God. They remain the friends of Jesus. They remain where Jesus lives. They live in a place where Jesus lives. You see the verse in uh, now, now Jesus loved Martha and Mary and so that he heard that Lazarus was ill, he stayed there two, uh, two days longer. And when he was saying that Lazarus uh, died, he says in verse 11, check verse 11, he says, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep. He remained as a friend even after he died. So that's, that's something eternal that we possess in Christ Jesus. If you are a friend of Christ and if Christ is a friend of you, even if you die, you remain as a friend. And that's what he says in verse 11. Our friend, our friend, he still remains friend. So this is all for the glory of God. To glorify the Son. They belong to Christ, dear ones. Therefore, whatever happens to them, happens for the glory of God. Next thing we see that Christ stays back for two more days. In, in, in verse 5, we say, now Jesus loved Martha. By the way, that love mentioned is not a human love. That love is agapeo, which means a friendship kind of love. Not agape, it's a different. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So he heard, so when he heard that Lazarus was ill, he stayed two days longer in the place where he was. The second thing that we learn from this is that we need to wait upon the Lord for things to happen in our lives. Dear ones, the Bible says, that he loved Martha, Mary and Lazarus. Therefore, he stayed two more days. It's not because it is not mentioned like he loved Martha, Mary and Lazarus. Yet, he stayed back two days. Preminchana no, rindu rojulu late ga ucharan chappaladu. Preminchana kabatti, rindu rojulu inka alasyanga velnatliga. Manak karthanga adu gada. Premiste, yavarena telegram pumpiste. Rindu rojul tharavat asthana na antar yavarena alaga andar gada. వెంటనే వెళ్ళాలని అనుకునేటువంటి మన స్వభావంకి భిన్నంగా కనబడుతుంది ఇక్కడ ఇక్కడ కనబడుతున్నటువంటి యేసు క్రీస్తు ప్రభుల వారు ఇక్కడ చేస్తున్నటువంటి పని ఏమిటంటే నవ్ జీసస్ లవ్ మార్త అండ్ హెర్ సిస్టర్ అండ్ లాజరస్ సో దర్డ్స్ ఎస్ సో బికాస్ వెన్ హీ హర్డ్ దట్ లాజరస్ వాజ్ ఇల్ హీ స్టేడ్ టూ మోర్ డేస్ డియర్ వన్స్ యేసు క్రీస్తు ప్రభు వారిని తొందర పెడితే ఏ పని అవ్వదు ఇది ఒకసారి కాదు రెండు సార్లు కాదు మూడు నాలుగు సార్లు మనకి కనబడుతుంది మరియు కూడా అనగా యేసుక్రీస్తు ప్రభు వారి యొక్క తల్లి గారు కంగారు పెట్టారు యేసుక్రీస్తు ప్రభు వారిని ద్రాక్షారసం అయిపోతుంది అంటే ఏదో చేయాలి అమ్మ నా సమయం ఇంకా రాలేదు ఇంకా చాలా మంది తొందర పెడుతూ ఉన్నారు ఏమని తొందర పెడుతూ ఉన్నారు నీ కుడి పక్కన కూర్చోపెట్టడానికి లేకపోతే బెడం పక్కన కూర్చోవడానికి వీరికి అనుగ్రహం ఇవ్వమని అడిగారు ఇలాంటి తొందర పెట్టేటువంటి 
చాలా ఉన్నాయి వాక్యంలో అవన్నీ కూడా ప్రభువారు అంటున్నారు అప్పుడే కాదు సమయం రాలేదు ఇంకా సో డియర్ వన్స్ వెయిటింగ్ అప్ ఆన్ ద లార్డ్స్ టైమింగ్ బికాస్ హీ మేక్స్ థింగ్స్ బ్యూటిఫుల్ ఇన్ హిస్ టైమ్ ఇన్ ఐజయ చాప్టర్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఫోర్ వర్ సెవెన్ he says that for a small moment have i forsaken thee but with great mercies will i gather thee nimisha matram nenu nenu visarjinchitini goppa vatsalam tho ninnu samakurchadu if you wait on the lord you shall see greater things in your life greater things in your lives sometimes the answer starey because we need to see much beyond what we have asked for alasyam enduku jarugutadante goppa karyalu kanapadaniki kanaparchataniki prabhu varu alasyam chestu unnatlu ga maniki kanapadthadi the third thing that we can know from the purpose of lazarus death is that it demonstrates the power of jesus over death maranamu pai yesu christu prabhu var yokka adhikaram entha varaku unnado manaki kanaparchadaniki ee yokka vakya bhagam manaki chaala balanga kanapadtadi moodu dinalu lopu eppudaina maraninchina vaadu terigi levochunu anatvanti apohato lekapothe atvanti mari ritual samajamlo aa drukpadantho jeevisthunnatvanti vaaru madhyalo యేసు క్రీస్తు ప్రభులు వారు మరణముపై ఆయనకి కలిగినటువంటి అధికారాన్ని మరి కనపరుచుకోవటానికి ఈ వాక్య భాగాలు మనకి చాలా ఉపయోగపడతాయని మనం గ్రహిస్తూ ఉన్నాం పదకొండో మాట మనం చూసినట్లయితే దీస్ థింగ్స్ అండ్ హీ అండ్ ఆఫ్టర్ దాట్ హీ సైత్ అంటు దెమ్ అవర్ ఫ్రెండ్ లాజర్ స్లీప్ ఎత్ బట్ ఐ గో దట్ ఐ మే అవేక్ హిమ్ అప్ అవేక్ హిమ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ స్లీప్ ఆయన ఈ మాటలు చెప్పిన తర్వాత అతని స్నేహితుడు నేను లాజరు నిద్రించుచున్నాడు అతని మేలు కొలువ వెళ్ళుచున్నాను అని వారితో చెప్పిన ప్రియమైనటువంటి వాటిలారా ఈ మరణము మరణముపై ఆయనకు ఉన్నటువంటి అధికారాన్ని గురించి దేవుని చిత్తం అయితే మరొక దినాన్ని మనం జ్ఞాపకం చేసుకోవచ్చు కానీ ఈ లాజర్స్ యొక్క మరణము అనగా ఈ యొక్క వాక్య భాగాలను బట్టి మనం మూడవదిగా గ్రహించవలసినటువంటి మరి ఒక అంశం ఏమిటంటే యేసు క్రీస్తు ప్రభుల వారికి మరణముపై ఉన్నటువంటి అధికారాన్ని మనకి ఈ యొక్క వాక్య భాగాల ద్వారా సూచించబడుతూ ఉన్నాం ప్రియమైనటువంటి హిస్ నాలెడ్జ్ ఆఫ్ లాజరస్ డెత్ వెన్ ద మెసేజ్ కే వెన్ మేరీ అండ్ మార్స్ సెంట్ మెసేజ్ టు జీసస్ ద మెసేజ్ వాస్ ద బ్రదర్ బ్రదర్ దేర్ బ్రదర్ వాస్ ఇల్ ఇన్ వర్స్ టూ but see what jesus is saying but when jesus heard it he said the illness does not lead to death it is for the glory of god jesus already knew what is going to happen jesus already knew what is going to happen he knew that he is going to raise lazarus from the dead so that god may be glorified and in that the son of god may also be glorified so he tarried back two more days so that four days elapses after the death of lazarus and then he goes and raises lazarus from the dead disproving the fact that it is not a mere happening of as according to the belief of the jews but it is according to the power of god to raise people from the dead and then uh, the fourth thing that we can look into this passage is that these things are written to strengthen his disciples faith in verse 15 we see and i am glad for your sakes that i was not there to the intent he may believe nevertheless let us go unto him kavana yesu lazaru chani poyeno meeru nammunatlu his knowledge about the death of lazarus look at this he knew the moment he died because life is contained in him aina chanipaina maru kshanam aina ki telusu aina kevalam aswasthata ga unnaru ani pondukunnaru vakyanni samacharanni rendova vachanamlo mari 15 vachananiki vachesariki mari ayinaku ardham ayipoyindi lakapothe ayina ki telusu endukante he has a knowledge over everything dear ones he knew that lazarus died 
అండ్ ఐఎమ్ గ్లాడ్ హీ సెస్ కావున యేసు లాజరు చనిపోయిను మీరు నమ్మునట్లు నేను ఇక్కడ ఉండ మీరు నమ్మునట్లు నేను ఇక్కడ అక్కడ నేను అక్కడ ఉండలేదని మీ నిమిత్తము సంతోషించుచున్నాను ఆయనను ఆయన యొక్కకు మనము వెళ్ళుదాము రండి స్పష్టముగా వారితో చెప్పాను జీసస్ టారీ టూ డేస్ మీన్ వై లాజరస్ డైడ్ అండ్ దెన్ జీసస్ సేస్ ఐఎమ్ గ్లాడ్ దట్ ఐ డిడ్ నాట్ గో బిఫోర్ ఈ డైడ్ అండ్ ఐఎమ్ గ్లాడ్ బికాస్ ఐ వాంట్ టు స్ట్రెంగ్తన్ యువర్ ఫెయిత్ అండ్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ దాట్ is also strengthening the faith of Martha and Mary. That's how the love of Jesus is. That's how the friendship of Jesus is. He tarries there two more days. In the book of the book of the book, the book of 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 the book, అపోస్తుల పౌల్ గారు ఇదే అంటారు ఏమంటారు అంటే అందుకు నా కృప నీకు చాలును బలహీనతి ఎందు నా శక్తి పరిపూర్ణ మగుచున్నదని ఆయన నాతో చెప్పాను కాగా క్రీస్తు శక్తి నా మీద నిలిచి ఉండు నిమిత్తము విశేషముగా నా బలహీనతని అందే బహుగా సంతోషి బహు సంతోషముగా అతిశయపడుతును నా జబ్బు నయమైపోలేదు నయమైపోలేదు ఎందుకు అని చింతించడం లేదు నయమైపోయింది అని ఆనందించటం లేదు కాని నా యొక్క జబ్బులో నా యొక్క బలహీనతలో నా యొక్క పరిస్థితుల్లో క్రీస్తు శక్తి నిలిచి ఉండలాగున నేను ఆ వెన్ని విషయాల్లో నేను అతిశయిస్తూ ఉన్నాను అని అంటూ ఉన్నాడు మోస్ట్ క్లాడ్లీ దేర్ ఫోర్ ఐ విల్ రాదర్ గ్లోరీ ఇన్ మై ఇన్ఫార్మిటీస్ దట్ ద పవర్ ఆఫ్ క్రైస్ట్ మై రెస్ట్ అపాన్ మీ సో డియర్ వన్స్ ఇట్స్ నాట్ జస్ట్ గాట్ కెన్ యూ టేక్ అవే ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఫ్రమ్ మీ కెన్ యూ గివ్ మీ అ బెటర్ లైఫ్ ఆర్ కెన్ యూ గివ్ మీ అ బెటర్ స్టేజ్ ఆర్ బెటర్ డేస్ ఆర్ సంథింగ్ బట్ ఇట్స్ ఆల్వేస్ అబౌట్ God, in this situation, how you will be glorified through me and in me. So, this is to strengthen the disciples' faith. Sishali yoka viswasani balapar chutani ki mar Yeshu Krishtu prabhul varu chesna yoka kari vani manum grahistho na. Quickly, we'll move on to the next one, which is Jesus and Martha's dialogue. పదిహేడు నుంచి ఇరవై ఏడు వరకు మనం చూసినట్లయితే యేసు క్రీస్తు ప్రభు వారు మార్తాకి మధ్యలో సంభాషణ మనకి కనబడుతుంది ఎంత జరిగిన తర్వాత యేసు క్రీస్తు ప్రభు వారు లాజరస్ చనిపోయిన రెండు రోజులు అయిపోయింది ఆ రెండు రోజులు ప్రయాణం ఉన్నటువంటి ఆ యొక్క ప్రయాణాన్ని చేసి ఆ యూదయ ప్రాంతానికి మనం తరలి వచ్చినట్లుగా మనం ఈ యొక్క వాక్య భాగాలను మనం చూస్తున్నాం అప్పుడే యేసుక్రీస్తు ప్రభు వారిని చంపాలని రాళ్ళతో కొట్టి చంపాలని చూస్తున్నటువంటి వారి మధ్యలోనికి వెళతావా అని శిష్యులు అడిగారు ప్రభువా నిన్ను అక్కడ చంపడానికి రెడీగా ఉన్నారే మరి చంపనుద్దేశించిన వారి మధ్యలోనికి వెళ్తున్నావా నీ స్నేహితుని చూడడానికి అని వారు ప్రశ్న వేశారు వేయగానే అప్పుడు యేసుక్రీస్తు ప్రభు వారు అంటున్నారు తండ్రి కార్యము చేయటానికి నాకు ఇచ్చిన సమయము ఏదైతే ఉన్నదో ఆ సమయంలో ఎవ్వరూ కూడా ఏమీ చేయలేరు అన్నటువంటి తాత్పర్యం కలిగినటువంటి మాటలు ఆయన అక్కడ తెలియజేసినట్లుగా మనం గ్రహిస్తూ ఉన్నాం అయితే పదిహేడవ వచనానికి ఆ మనం వచ్చేసరికి దెన్ వెన్ జీసస్ కేమ్ హీ ఫౌండ్ దట్ హీ లే దట్ హీ హ్యాడ్ లేడ్ ఇన్ ద గ్రేవ్ ఫోర్ డేస్ ఆల్రెడీ నాలుగు దినాలు అయిపోయింది లాజరస్ చనిపోయి పాత పెట్టబడ్డాడు now bethany was nigh unto jerusalem about 15 for long job and many of the jews came to martha and mary to comfort them concerning their brother then martha as soon as she heard that jesus was coming went and met him but mary sat still in the house dear ones as soon as martha heard that's a great great testimony dear ones yesu christu prabhu var yokka ఉనికి మార్తాకి చాలా బాగా తెలుస్తూ ఉంటుంది పదో అధ్యాయంలో కూడా లూకాసు వార్తలో మనం చూస్తే యేసుక్రీస్తు ప్రభు వారు ఆరు ఆ ఊరంతా వెళుతూ ఉన్నారని తెలుసుకోగానే షీ ఇన్వైటెడ్ క్రైస్ట్ అండ్ హిస్ డిసైపుల్స్ ఇన్ టు హెర్ హోమ్ సో షీఈస్ ఆల్వేస్ ఆన్ ద వాచ్ ఆన్ ద హియరింగ్ ఆన్ ద విజిల్ వేర్ క్రైస్ట్ ఈస్ సో ద మూమెంట్ షీ నోస్ ద జీసస్ ఈస్ కమింగ్ ఇన్ టు ద విలేజ్ ఆర్ ఎన్ టు బెథని వాట్ షీ డాస్ ఈస్ she leaves everything and she says and martha she was heard oh, jesus was coming went and met him pargatkonu velli evarni 
ఒక స్నేహితుడు చేయవలసినది చేయకుండా బాగు చేయాలని కోరుకున్నది బాగు చేయలేదు వస్తాడని కోరుకున్నాడు రాలేదు అయినప్పటికీ కూడా సంస్థను వదిలి పరిగెత్తుకుని వెళ్ళింది ప్రభుని హత్తుకోవడానికి ఎంతమంది వెళ్తాం అలాగా హౌ మెనీ ఆఫ్ అస్ విల్ గో ఇఫ్ ఐ వర్ ఇన్ దట్ ప్లేస్ యు నో వాట్ ఐ విల్ డూ ఐ విల్ సిట్ ఇన్ అ కార్నర్ అండ్ వెయిట్ ఫర్ హిమ్ టు కమ్ అండ్ ద మూమెంట్ హీ కమ్స్ ఐ విల్ సే ఇప్పుడా వస్తావు అని అంటాను నేనైతే ఇంకో నెల రోజులు పోయాక రాలేకపోయేవా అంటావు అవండి అంటావా ఏం చూడడానికి వచ్చావు ఇంకేం చూస్తావు ఏం చేస్తావు అని అనుకునేటువంటి భావన ఉండాలి వార్తకి ఎలాగుంది ఎక్కడ ఉన్నది అక్కడ అలా వదిలి యేసు క్రీస్తు ప్రభు వారిని హత్తుకోవడానికి పరిగెట్టిందట వెన్ మార్త హర్డ్ ద గుడ్ న్యూస్ ద జీసస్ ఇస్ కమింగ్ she threw everything aside and went and met him it's the most affectionate welcome that she is giving not when coming into the home but when he is coming into the village she came to him and welcomed him and jesus coming to that place she saw martha coming to her uh, to him she was very busy in the home all the time remember that there were jews in the home Jews from all Jerusalem, they all came to comfort Martha and Mary. It's a busy home. People are greeting. People are coming. And she is a person who always takes care of the home, makes sure that everybody is comfortable. That is who Martha was. But Martha left everything, ran to meet Jesus. What a heart breaking. Because... she left the comfort of people people are comforting martha but she left that comfort she wanted the comfort of her savior of her lord of her friend she desired the comfort of jesus then those of the jews but then sometimes our despair will lead us to distort the power of jesus పవర్ ఆఫ్ జీసస్ నిరాశలో మనకి ఒక్కొక్కసారి ప్రభు యొక్క శక్తిని వక్రీకరించేటువంటి ప్రమాదం మనకి కూడా కలిగేటువంటి అవకాశం ఉందని ఈ యొక్క వాక్యం ద్వారా మనం తెలుసుకుంటూ ఉన్నాం బట్ ఎనీవే షీ కేమ్ టు గాడ్ షీ కేమ్ టు జీసస్ జీసస్ ఇస్ కమింగ్ టు హెర్ టు హెర్ హోమ్ షీ లెఫ్ట్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ she went and embraced the presence of jesus leaving everything leaving the comfort of people she left everything to the comfort of christ but then she says these are the words that she uh, that she says as she meets jesus and he says so when martha heard and uh, mary remains seated in verse 21 martha said to jesus lord if you had been here my brother would not have died my brother wouldn't have died if you were here she had faith in christ but she longed for the presence of god presence of christ for a happening she might have known that jesus sent his word and healed the disease she might have known that jesus sent his word and a person uh, lives without visiting the place of the event but then uh, here we see in her weakness in her despair she was distorted of the power of god who could have raised or healed lazarus even from the place where he was and also she says that even now i know whatever you ask of god god will give you even nothing has happened everything has happened and and they put lazarus in the tomb yet she believed yet she believed but she did not believe that it is god it is jesus who contains life in him who can give life to lazarus 
So, dear ones, in our despair, sometimes despair can distort the power of God or power of Jesus in our lives. Samashalo chinapudu, Bainkarmana situations of chinapudu, Prabhu Maniaka Jivutolo, Chegale, twenty Shaktine Manam, Prashnin Che, twenty Vakri Karanlo, Alochanlo Manuel Potam. At twenty Pramada Lakota Jarutani, Waki Bagandaravano, Telskontona. But yet Jesus remains powerful. Yet Jesus remains um, as a sovereign God over all the situations. Sometimes he holds a lesser mercy that he may impart a greater blessing. Sometimes he holds a lesser mercy so that he can give a greater blessing. Chini chini aduta unta manu avivak pochu. Devudi che di goppa shirwa. Adi manu kani betta. Manu kanu go wale. Manu vechi undale. Kani betta. Wait on the Lord so that the entire horizon, the beautiful picture is finished. The finished product is matchless, dear ones. It is far beyond what we have asked and desired for. Far beyond. Far beyond what you have desired and asked for. The other day I was uh, uh, reading a promise, uh, promise note uh, that we have taken from uh, uh, this one. And, and that note says from Numbers chapter 33. My presence shall go with thee. That answer that the Lord says is for a question that Moses puts to the Lord. Moses says, Lord, I want to know the ways that I should walk. Our Lord says, my presence shall go with thee. Do you recognize that? I asked, God, can you show me the path? The Lord said, let me walk with you. Which is a better one? The answer or what I requested for? I requested for the way, the path. God would have said, that's the path, go. But God said, let me answer your question or let me answer your prayer. And he says, I will walk with you. That is our God, how he works. Adi mana devudu. Ni chini chini prarathan laki samadhana lo, ayana goppa goppa vidhala gestar. Chini chini vidhala gevaro. Nuh anukunnat jarago, ni jeevutun lo. Kani devudu anukunnat jarigina pudu, ayi mana ke ala ganbara thai, adbutanga ganbara thai. Pantunol thambay aur lo U.S. Rawal ani prarthan jaysa. Rindu saunchra lo, rindu mood saunchra lo. Yenta laga prarthan jaysa nante thambay thomudhi rindu vel saunchra lo. Nen give up ichcha. Ningu nen prarthan jay. Nagin kudu, in kalno. Nen vellal sir, vellal anku na apni nen vellal. Nen vellano. Nagin kavasron le dhan nani. But God answered that prayer after I got married. Then I realized, oh, that was the best time that I would have come here. Every unanswered prayer is a blessing for you and me. Because we never know what God's precious ways are accomplished through our prayers. Martha might have thought that he would have healed Lazarus, but it would be temporary for their faith. But when he raised Lazarus from the dead, guess what? What is the faith of Ma Martha and Mary? That's how our Lord answers prayers, dear ones. Don't be in despair. It distorts the power of God. It distorts the power of Christ that He can do in your life and mine. Don't get despair. Because they are backed up by two promises in this one verse we see in verse 26, 25 and 26. We shall conclude in a few minutes and we will partake in the elements after this. The promises of the Lord in verse 25 and verse 26. And Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection. I am the life. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. That's a promise for your bodily resurrection, dear ones. Bodily resurrection. And the proof of it, Jesus rose Lazarus from the dead. You will discover that Jesus did not say to Lazarus, Lazarus, live. 
But he said, Lazarus, move! Because life is contained in his hands, which he will depart, disperse into the people whom he desires. He said, Lazarus, move! He didn't say, Lazarus, come back to life. You have gone too far. Come back to life. No, no, no. Lazarus, move. That's how our God is. So this is a bodily resurrection and it is a promise of Jesus Christ. He says, I am the resurrection. Then he says, whoever believeth, whoever, whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. And that is a promise for your soul which is everlasting. So here are the promises. Your bodily resurrection. Number two, your eternity of your soul. And that is the key verses in this passage that we are dwelling on. Jesus, I am the resurrection and the life. So those are the two promises in this verses. Powerful, powerful promises. God willing, we will dwell in that next time. So the dialogue between Mary, Martha and Jesus Christ was sandwiched between his two promises. He says, Martha, you are in despair and your faith is fading faith in despair. You thought that I would have been here and your brother would have lived. You know so much about future. You, sometimes we also think so much that didn't happen. A doctor garo ste alagundu nemo. Palana voda ste ila jarugu nemo. We think so many things. But Jesus is saying, Martha, Martha, no, 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 for the glory of God. Think about that. So they are backed up by these two great promises. One promise is for your body, which is bodily resurrection. You will rise. Number two is for your soul. You will live. And finally, the confession of Martha. We see in verse 27, she saith unto him, Yeah, Lord, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which should come into the world. She put her faith in the word of Christ. Christ matlenda ani viswasin chindi. Ye mani ne ne prana dhanam ne jeevam ne yonan. Namuthu nava namuthu na prabhu. Na yendu viswasin chhe prati vado yenna tikne chani poodu. Namuthu nava idhi. Namuthu na prabhu. Ye Lord, I believe. With her confession, with her mouth she confesses. And she also testifies, in addition to her confession, her reason for belief. That is her faith in the person of Christ. That you are Christ. The only other one who gave this testimony about Christ, whom the Father has revealed is who? Peter. Her faith in the person of Christ. Thou art the Christ. And faith in the nature of Christ. Not only that, you are the Son of God. And then verse 28 says, she went home. If I were there, I wouldn't go home. But look at how much comfort Martha drew from Christ. Is what led her back home. She was totally comforted. And she was totally restful after Jesus said, your brother will rise. If I were there in Martha's place, I would wait until he does. You do and I will go. But that's not what Martha is. Now I know and I don't need to see. How many of us live by sight, dear ones? Martha lived by faith. She received the promise. She went home. That's why we read verse 28. In fact, 28 is the next section. But in verse 28, when she had and when she had said this, what did she say? Lord, I believe. She has no other reason for her to stay there but to call her sister for comfort because her sister needs to hear that. What? I am the resurrection. I am the life. That's what, dear ones, you and I have to do. Once you sit at the feet of Jesus, got your comforting message, go and tell people. That's what Martha does here. Not to wait and see the miracle. 
I would have ushered Jesus to the tomb. But Martha got the comfort that she did not receive from the Jews who are visiting her home. Her home is full of Jews. The Bible says many Jews have come. Many. But none of them could comfort Martha. But Martha was comforted by Christ because she left the comfort of men, ran to the comfort of Jesus. She was full of comfort from Jesus. No matter whether her brother lives or he will rise his brother, her brother, doesn't matter anymore. She got the comfort that he is the resurrection and the life. Amen. That's it. Off. That's why we sang this afternoon. Christ is the treasure that I am seeking and he is all in all and he is all I need. I don't need my brother to wake up from the dead then. I don't need my other people to come back to life. I don't need. All I need is Christ and that's what Martha got. Many things, dear ones, from this passage that we can see. But let me conclude with this confession of Martha. She confessed in receiving the word that this is the word of Christ, this is the word of God. And she confessed her faith in the person of Christ. This is the one who is sent for me. The person of Christ is sent for me. He died for me. He took the place that I should be in for me. He bore my pain. He bore my sin. He bore my wrath on the cross. She testified in faith that you are that person for me. Her faith in the nature of God. This is the son of God. Whom the father has sent. And bound his hands. When his son was crying. Abba father. His hands were tied because of my sin. And your sin. He could have destroyed. But he bound his hands. And sent his son. She confessed her faith in the nature of. God. The son of God. Abba father in heaven closed his eyes when his son was suffering. Who would allow? Which father on earth under the son would allow? His son being beaten. No one. No one. But the father who closed his eyes, who bound his hands and allowed the son to suffer. That is what she confessed in, her, confessed in her faith in the nature of Christ, the Son of God, according to the prophecies. That is your God and that is my God, dear ones. And as we take this message, as we take this word, the confession of Martha is what you and I need. The faith of Martha is what you and I need. The confession and the faith of Martha says, I am comforted. No matter what my situation, my brother might die, my brother has sickness and what not. Jesus did not come at the right time. Jesus did not do anything. Doesn't matter. I got the comfort from Jesus himself. That he is the resurrection and the life. Do you have that? Do you have that comfort, dear ones? Do you have the assurance of Christ as your friend? Do you have the assurance of Christ, of uh, you as Christ's friend? And that's what we learn from this passage. Shall we bow our heads? And as we spend a few minutes to examine our lives, we will understand. We will spend a few minutes to see what the Lord has done. Here is your Christ coming into the city, into the nation, into your premises, into your homes, into your lives. Martha left everything and ran to Jesus. What about you and what about me? Do you run? Do we run to meet Jesus? If you run, dear ones, the promises are true for you. The promises are true for me. The promises are 
that Jesus is the resurrection and the life. And whoever believes in him shall never die is a promise for you and is a promise for me. In the moment that you are comforted with this great assurance of salvation, great assurance of resurrection, in Christ Jesus, just like Martha went back to tell the other who has to hear this. Is that you? Is that me? If yes, Jesus is a friend of you. And Jesus is a friend of me. Even when we die, we still remain as friends. Just like Jesus called Lazarus, our friend, sleep. So dear ones, it's the same for us. Oh, the precious sacrifice of Jesus. So that we may enjoy this wonderful communion with our Lord.